All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Come back, kid! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving me instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready! So here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills. He don't care what John. What do you got? John, what do you it got? doesn't John. It doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's diff different levels. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his turn. Nice jab. Follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, big shot. 
Scott lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Wow, what a head kick. Big knee to the body. Over and over, man. Big body kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Now connects with the right. Just over three minutes now to go. Real nice body kick. have expired in our opening round. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big punch land. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice one-two there. All right, single collar tie now. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big body kick lands. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lunges forward with a left there. action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Kick, that one blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, you can feel 
feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Right under the elbow by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Huge knee lands from his And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice punch, man. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hit to be over the critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Just missed with the left there. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. But that punch, no good. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the door. Nice body kick. Big kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Blocks that kick to the body. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big punch lands through the middle. Side kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the. Over the top. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they separate. 20 seconds to go. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Ten seconds remain in round two. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a wealth on his opponent. Well, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on.
trouble. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there, and I want you. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Straight punch lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. into these big leg kicks. All right, let's go. Let's go. That right hand landed. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Plus right hand is true. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Leg kick. Back and forth we go here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. They want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking tonight. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Whiffs on that offering. with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. What a body kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, nice. Punch over the top. Real sneaky. There it is, taller fighter landing a knee with the body. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. to the body now, that one won't land. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. He got the turn in that kick. Cable inches right there, boy, wow. It was a good night if that landed. There's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, 
Ten seconds now to go in the round. Right hand upstairs. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish up because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Take a seat. So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the hook. We'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the office. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Lee's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. That's a big strike right there. How good is that right hand? Big, big head could land. Right hand, then a left. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well placed kick there by Lee. Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the woods with those leg kicks. More than one, more than one. Punches and bumps. Back and forth we go. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with this beautiful leg kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. There, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Just unable to quite find that range. There's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Nice punch lands over the top. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big leg kick lands. Right, okay. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. He's looking for that left hand, not there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, that's the big bus score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Beautiful body kick. 
Signs of bruising now on that left thigh. Went for the inside leg kick. Head kick is blocked. Nice strike. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Look at that jab, snaps his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and always brings his hands right back to his face. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon. This is the final round. We are down. We are losing this fight. I need you to go out there and give everything you have left. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Going to the body there with the right kick. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Body kick. Big knee there to the chest. Oh! Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to show up to be Oh, look like right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Three minutes now to go in this one. No! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Under three minutes now to go round five. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Open St. Fru has got to like that transition there. submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions.
So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of round number five. For the winner by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, come back. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the 